Hi, my name is Susan Brubaker Knapp and I'm from Chapel Hill, North Carolina. My piece in Quilt National 23 is called Sproing. It is Thanks. on old fashioned metal bed springs, the kind we don't sleep on anymore. Um, I was walking in my old neighborhood in Mooresville, North Carolina, which is near Charlotte, years ago and came across these old bed springs that somebody had put out on their curb to throw away. And they were so interesting to me. I took a whole bunch of photos. I um, really wanted to throw them in the back of my car, you know, come back with my car and throw them in the back and take them home and hang them up on the wall as sculpture, but I didn't really have the wall space. So after I'd taken these photos and came home, I made a little line drawing of them, of what I found most interesting um, about them. This is not an exact rep representation. It's more of um, just having fun with the lines. And I set it aside because I didn't have time to work on the piece um, and, you know, got that line drawing out later and made the piece sprawling. Um, I have really no art background since high school. I think high school and maybe college, I took one art class. <clears throat> but um, I've been quilting for a long time. My mother was a home ec teacher. I made my first quilt with her when I was about 10. And I started again when I was in my 20s and got really hooked on the handwork part of it. I still love doing the handwork part. I um, hand quilted a queen sized quilt in the past year. And I love all kinds of fiber art. I do needle needlepoint and cross stitch and embroidery, um, but I love quilting the most. I started making art quilts about 2005, but I'm still making some traditional quilts at the same time. Uh, my techniques have kind of changed over time. I started out making a lot of fused applique pieces where I would put the fusible adhesive on the wrong side of the fabrics flip them over and build a composition. And um, most of them were based on photos, so they were pretty representational. I then usually did a lot of what I call thread sketching, which is a surface di design technique where I put a lot of stitched machine, free motion stitching on the surface of the quilt. And that's before I add the batting and the backing and quilt a piece. So it adds a lot of movement and texture and color and pattern and all those wonderful details that I love on the surface before I quilt. The other technique that I use a lot and I'm using in most of my work now is whole cloth painting. And in that technique, what I do is I start with usually white fabric and paint the entire surface. I use transparent acrylic textile paint. So that's paint designed for textiles. Mostly the paint I use is by Prochemical and Dye. And I use the transparent paint as my favorite because I can get more depth and dimension by layering the colors that you can see through a little bit. And um, with my whole cloth painted pieces, I'm usually not doing a lot of thread sketching on the surface. I usually quilt them because when I paint pieces, I can already get a lot of detail in, in the piece before I go to stitch it. My inspiration is almost always from my morning walks. I usually try to walk about three miles in the morning and I take my smartphone with me. I take almost all of my photos on my iPhone and I started doing this after my mother died and I, I was walking to get exercise, but also to be out in nature and to think about all the beauty that was around me to try to pull myself out of my, my funk, my depression. And I still do that every day. It's become a part of my art practice because when I'm out taking photos, I'm noticing the details. I'm looking for things like lines or shifts in color, textures, patterns, all of, all of those things as I take my photos. And so most of the inspiration for my work starts with the photos. The way it did is with sproing. Um, in sproing, I started with, I think it was an old calico fabric that I had that I didn't like anymore. And I completely covered it over with different shades of, sh of greens and chartreuses. 
and I mixed up a bunch of different colors of paint and then basically finger painted the whole surface. I, I splashed the paint all over and smeared it with my hands to completely cover the surface of the piece. After that was dry, I got out my paint bottle. These are bottles that I put the paints from Pro Chemical and Dye into so that it's easier for me to dispense them as I'm working. It's just a lot easier than having to open bottles. And it has a, a squirt tip that turns, and so I can control the flow a little bit. Once uh, you know I had it all spread out, I just started drawing. I didn't trace anything. I didn't um, worry about following the drawing exactly. I just started drawing with the paint bottle in all different kinds of ways, controlling the flow a little bit by how hard I was squeezing and how much the tip was open. After that part was dry, I started thinking about how I was going to quilt it. And I used several different variegated threads on this piece because I wanted it to glow a little bit. I didn't want it to just be the black on the green. So I used these different colors of thread in different areas. And I think when you look at it, you almost think there are other paint colors there or colors in the background, when in fact, what you're seeing is just the shifts in color of the thread and that makes it more interesting. I'm so honored to have a piece in Quilt National 23. Thanks.